What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, and actually in the next few videos, going to evaluate a couple of expressions containing rational exponents. So starting with these three here, we got number one, 16 to the power of three over four. So as I mentioned in previous videos, when I see a rational exponent like this, I like to split it up. And the way I like to split it up is I like to put one over the denominator as the first exponent, and then take that all to the power of the numerator, right? This three over four, we could split up into this because one over four times three, it's like three over one. So three times one is three, one times four, final answer is three over four. So we're just splitting up the fraction. And then from here, it's easy to, to evaluate because 16 to the power of one over four, that's the fourth root of 16. That is just two. And then we have to the power of three. So that ends up being eight. So that's the answer to this. And you could check your answer. You can plug this in, 16 to the power of three over four. Remember you put that exponent in brackets when you plug it in your calculator and you should get that value. Number two, we got 64 to the power of negative five over six. Now, this is a negative exponent, so we got to use exponent laws to bring that down to the denominator, and then that exponent becomes positive. So the same exponent laws are applying. If you remember, I said a to the negative x is equal to one over a to the x, so that's all we did here. So from here, to evaluate this, I just use this method here. So I take 64 to the power of one over six, one over the denominator, and then take that to the power of five. So I split up that rational exponent and uh, 64 to the power of one over six, that is um, two. And then we have to the power of five. So that gives us one over 32. So that's the answer to number two. And then moving on to number three, we got 10 to the power of two over 100 to the power of three over two. So let's uh, just evaluate the numerator and the denominator separately. So 10 to the power of two, that's just 100. And then 100 to the power of three over two to the power of this rational exponent, same method as here. So I'm gonna take the 100, take it to the power of one over two, and then take it to the power of three. So 100 still stays in the numerator. Now 100 to the power of one over two, that's like the square root of 100, which is 10. Then we'll have that 10 to the power of three. 10 to the power of three is uh, what? 1,000, right? 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. And then 100 over 1,000, that's just equal to one over 10. All right, so if you plug this whole expression into your calculator, making sure you put the brackets correctly, you should get this answer, one over 10. And I actually recommend that you do that. You start practicing with your calculator, plugging in these big expressions, because a lot of times the brackets could be tricky, so you want to be ready before your test comes. But uh, either way, if you plug this in, you should get 1 over 10 as a fraction or 0 0.1 as a decimal. 